hoping to hold on to their Leinster title but up today against the uh, Offaly side here to get the usual warm welcome from their fans a team that uh, they have followed with great passion and enthusiasm over the years a team that uh, last year lost a manager lost two games as well although one of course was replayed famously but finally triumphed on all ireland final day itself it's been quite an amazing two decades for awfully hurling in 1990 when you think or 1980 i should say there was a, a very first leinster win you may remember that particular day in front of just i think it was about nine and a half thousand spectators and now nearly 20 years on awfully bidding to repeat the dose on kilkenny once again and the two teams are now going to line up for a formal presentation to the president of ireland There will be an enthusiastic welcome for President Mary McAleese when she comes out in just a moment here to uh, greet the Offaly and Kilkenny teams. It really is a wonderful occasion here, beautifully sunny day, temperatures down on the pitch I'm told are 24 degrees. There is a very stiff breeze however blowing in from the Hill 16 end as it were, of course in a way as Brian Whelan introduces his colleague Stephen Byrne unusual in that it's the All-Ireland Champions versus Provincial Champions but uh, it has occurred before it may have happened indeed in Connacht in the mid-twenties I'm told that was in football but in 1941 you may remember the uh, older people among you that Cork beat Dublin in the All-Ireland final in September and the next month they lost to Tipperary in the Munster final of 1941 and that was at a time of a foot and mouth scare so when they made it 42 Cork were in fact the All-Ireland Champions while Tip were the Munster Champions so uh, this is not then the first time that All-Ireland Champions have faced provincial winners in a regional decider nice mix of colours as usual difficult to estimate the crowd but that's Pat O'Connor there in the midst of all of that and the President sharing a joke there with the two linesmen Jared Devlin from Armagh and Willie Barrett from Tipperary standby referee is uh, Eamon Morris from Dublin and now it's the turn of the Kilkenny captain who is Dennis Byrne to introduce uh, his teammates down along the they go there Eamon Kennedy Paddy Mullally Andy Comerford and he'll be in the midfield and of course DJ Carey John Power who came back to uh, great effect to play a starring role in the match of Elish in the Leinster semi-final. Kilkenny was so much the better team. So both sides wished well by President McAleese. And now she can go back and take down the field from the canal end for the first half, which means they're playing against that stiff breeze. Brian Cody has done a very, very good job as Kilkenny team manager, along with his assistants, Jer Henderson and Johnny Walsh, and Mick O'Flynn as well, of course. And now the uh, crowd standing to face the tricolor. Hopefully with Michael Bond at the helm. Strange that this time last year he was in America, missed the Leinster final. Within days he was back and he was in action with them. So now the band just waiting for their conductor to make his way out in front of them. The crowd facing the tricolor. Marcus Auron of here. Let's see how it contrasts and compares now with Leinster. Same kind of drama, I'm sure. Lots of excitement as well. Perhaps a different style of match. Pat O'Connor then from Ahan in Limerick is in charge. And uh, Offaly, as I say, won the toss. And they are going to play 
against the wind for the opening 35 minutes. Straight away it's stalemate in midfield. Johnny Pilkington trying to take it away. Hubert Rigney put under pressure there by John Power. This is Michael Cavanagh. Some neat work by Cavanagh, but he's fouled there by Johnny Pilkington. So a good start by the man operating at right half back. Spoken of indeed in glowing terms recently. So the familiar figure of DJ Carey coming out to take this free. The breeze behind him. So inside the opening minute, can he get the first score? He lobs it right in there. So dangerous. And they're appealing inside for it. John Troy was in appealing, so were one or two more players. Well, as that one was hit in there, Henry Shefflin was close enough to it. And uh, the big number 14 almost got a stick to it. Eamon Kennedy needs a little bit of assistance towards Michael Kavanagh. Now it's Andy Comerford. Comerford battling away in there. Michael Dignan coming back almost as a third midfield player. Down by John Ryan. Towards John Troy. Stopped over by Canis Brennan. That'll be an intriguing battle between Brennan and Troy. So a sideline ball will be uh, upcoming once uh, Joe Dooley has completed the running repairs. What a great semi-final performance he put in, Joe. Ended up with uh, man of the match today playing his 47th championship match. Some record. Brian Whelan in here playing in his 30th. Not a particularly good sideline cut. Straight to Andy Comerford. Comerford up towards Charlie Carter. The crafty Charlie. Keenan out of position. That's inside there. DJ was putting some pressure on Simon Whelan. Still Simon Whelan and DJ Carey coming back. The forwards doing their bit of defending, at least making sure that the backs don't get the opportunity to make easy clearances. Well back there by Paddy Mullally, but Mullally has driven the ball wide, and that's now two wides. And DJ Carey has uh, switched around with Henry Shefflin and Charlie Carter. Carter has now gone to full forward. DJ has gone to top of the left. Early switches as Shefflin's gone out to right half forward, being marked by Kevin Martin. So all part of the intrigue that goes up to make any major match. John Ryan trying to get that ball inside there. Dyglin trying to get it back here. Johnny Dooley is blocked comes away from him. This is good work here by Brian McAvoy. McAvoy been given an advantage, references play on, he does, he belts it and he whips it over the bar. Brian McAvoy had a very good start to the All-Ireland Final on Brian Whelahan has got the first point of the match here. Very much a piece of individual work by Brian McAvoy and while we were watching that I noticed the referee went back and took the number of Johnny Pilkington so his number goes in the book, but off we have the opening score. Here's Johnny Pilkington under this one, he leaves it behind. Knocked away by Dennis Byrne. Up towards Brian McAvoy once again. McAvoy for John Parr. Trying to get it away from Hubert Rigney, it's blocked down. Comes back to Andy Comerford once more. All Kilkenny in the early stages, a great save! Ken O'Shea very nearly got the first goal of the game there. But Stephen Byrne produced a piece of magic. And now he's roaring at his backs there to say, what were you doing? Martin Hanemi was beaten by Kenny O'Shea. Ken O'Shea has got six goals already in a championship career. And today only playing in his ninth uh, championship match. Some record by the number 13 of Kilkenny. So a 65. DJ Carey coming out to take it. DJ with an amazing career total of 22 goals and 135 points. Low trajectory, but deadly accurate. A first point then from a 65 for DJ Carey. Happy Kilkenny fans. Their side has done most of the attacking. Might have had a goal, but they've got two points instead. Mulally.
Ali there put under some pressure by Johnny Dooley. Michael Dignan's back in midfield there. He leaves this one to Brian Wheelham. Hobson over the head there of John Troy. Back helping out is uh, Tom Hickey. Tom from Dunhamagan. His brother was playing in the minor match this afternoon. He was the Kilkenny captain. That's Andy Comerford towards John Power. That's a wonderful take by John Power under amazing pressure. But he's held on too long. Didn't get the ball away. He looks ruefully at the referee as if to say, what chance had I? Being surrounded by Offaly men. But the Offaly players involved were disciplined and forced the Kilkenny, number 11, into the holding error. Maybe got a slight knock to the side of the head, I think, there, John Power. Brian Wheelahan, the captain, from Burr. Hickey taps it away. Only as far as Johnny Dooley. And Johnny, slightly off balance, has put it over the bar. Offaly's first point of the match. Credited the uh, wing forward from Sir Kieran's. And it's two points to one. Difficult skill to perfect that, Johnny Dooley. He was almost uh, with his right shoulder facing the goal as he was trying to hit it on his left-hand side. John Power against Hubert Rigney. And I think the awfully half-backs anticipating trouble this afternoon because of the presence of John Power at Shefflin right now. Stopped by Martin Hanaby, bursting his way out here. Resorting to booting this one away it back down once again by Kavanagh Andy Comerford beyond Charlie Carter John Ryan the centre half forward going back playing now around left half back helping out Johnny Pilkington against Andy Comerford still Pilkington trying to motor his way forward just gets enough on that one but only to the opposite centre half back Eamon Kennedy and Eamon Kennedy has put this one to the left three wides now for Kilkenny It's interesting that Tom Hickey has not followed Michael Dignan out. Dignan is out around the 40 right now, as I say, almost as a third midfielder. And Hickey has stayed back. He's right in front of goal right now, a kind of a lone figure in the full-back position. Here's Brian Wheelham. Down into the corner there, towards Billy Dooley. Eamon Kennedy going back here, the centre half. The clearance is towards Brian McAvoy. And it uh, bounces there off the Offaly player sideline ball to Kilkenny so the Leinster champions leading the All-Ireland champions this time it's got in by Dennis Byrne the Kilkenny captain this year towards Henry Shefflin very highly regarded young player falls towards Andy Comerford and Byrne fumbles but gets a second opportunity to make his clearance quite short only as far as Brian Wheelham out to the unmarked Michael Dignan because as marker as I say Tom Hickey has stayed back Hickey's in the white helmet here in front of goal here's Canis Brennan he's continued to do a match up there against John Troy great catch but it's dropped down by Kevin Martin on his right hand side Hickey calls, comes, gathers. He was last year's captain. That's uh, Michael Kavanagh. Inside towards Charlie Carter. Kilkenny switching around their attack as well, just trying to cause a few problems for the well-established Offaly backline. Johnny Polkington coming there to help him. Goes to Paddy Mulher. Down towards Billy Dooley, drops it down. Joe Dooley trying to get on to it. So far, the Kilkenny player is doing a good job on keeping an eye on Joe Dooley. Everybody aware of the danger, even at 35 years of age. Now, Canis Brennan. Oh, hand pass back. Willie O'Connor. Well, he's been around a long time. They say his clearances aren't quite as long as they used to be, but nonetheless, they're effective. Pilkington needing a bit of assistance from Paulie Mulher. It's tight in midfield. Here's John Power trying to steamroll his way forward. Again, he holds on, but the referee said this time that the pass was out to Andy Comerford, and Comerford is deadly accurate. A fine point by the O'Loughlin Gales player, Andy Comerford. And very happy Kilkenny fans on the steaming hot afternoon. They lead by three points to one. Well, this 
was the point by Andy Comerford from behind the goal. It was a fine strike. Michael Dignan trying to take possession here. Runs on towards Joe Dooley. He was held back. Fouled by Michael Cavanagh. And a free then for Offaly. And a chance for their second point of the match. So it will be uh, Johnny Dooley to hit this one. Looking for his second point, Kilkenny for uh, Offaly's second point. Johnny playing in his 25th championship match this afternoon has pointed another. And so now the uh, lead is cut to just the minimum and it's three points to two in Kilkenny's favour. Well, reporting for us this afternoon from the far sideline is Ryle Nugent. Ryle. Thank you, Chair. Kilkenny's Willie O'Connor, three stitches over his left eye starting this game, received in training last Tuesday. He did consider wearing a helmet, but I think when he found out how hot it was down here pitch side, he decided against us. Chair. Right, we're watching the other corner back on the other side. That's Simon Wheelahan. Johnny Pulkington just getting it down as far as Johnny Dooley. Dooley trying to switch it into the corner. Again, it's Tom Hickey back there. Pressure applied by Billy Dooley, and it's Willie O'Connor out towards Andy Comerford. Switch of direction, but uh, perhaps an unwise choice. He's given it to Fadi Mulher, who is 65 metres out. And that one goes harmlessly beyond the uh, sideline there of James McGarry's goal. The awfully dug out there containing uh, mentors, Michael Bond and plenty of subs as well, willing to come in and play their part. John Parr flicks it. Simon Whelan again here, Charlie Carter coming out and close down the options available to him. And the linesman is adamant, it's going to be an awfully ball. So many uh, options available up front for Kilkenny. So many potential match winners. Charlie among them. He's been uh, and indeed was man of the match a couple of times in last year's championship. Here's Johnny Pilkington, one of the great characters in this Offaly team. John Troy not getting the best of service. And there was a push there. I think the referee has decided on the part of Canis Brennan. And instead of being a sideline ball, it's going to be a free in for Offaly. And a chance of an equaliser. Again, Offaly in no particular hurry. Joe is uh, waiting for his brother Johnny to come across and take. What a great career Joe Dooley has had. Always looked after himself, always looks terribly, terribly trim. And shows wonderful enthusiasm for the sport. So Johnny Dooley taking his time over this one. This to tie up the match. And it's hit to the right. That's a second wide now for Offaly. Johnny Dooley, the county's only scorer in the match. That's a huge puck out right into the inside forward line that can cause problems for the Offaly backs Charlie Carter stopped but it's gone behind for a 65 well the goalkeeper has been busy so far in this match Stephen Byrne this is of course the uh, third championship meeting between the counties in the last 12 months and the 36th ever between Kilkenny and Offaly a sequence all of which began back in the last century back in 18. 98 and it's seen Kilkenny win 27 of the uh, previous matches so DJ now has come out John Ryan and John Troy by the way in the Offaly team have switched positions it's Ryan who's now full forward Troy out on the 40 DJ hitting the 65 to extend the lead another successful 65 converted by DJ Carey that's his second and it's four points to two well, let's go back to the sideline once again to Ryle. Brian Cody, Jair, talking to Brian McAvoy during that free, or that 65, telling him to move the half-forward line further into midfield, telling Kilkenny half-forward line further into midfield. Hmm. 
Well, let's see what Andy Comerford can do. Dropping it in there towards Charlie Carter. And Charlie did well. Kept the ball still in play. Alert goalkeeping, however. That's a way down beyond Eamon Kennedy. Billy Dooley trying to torment Willie O'Connor. Two players who've uh, seen a lot of action in the Leinster Championship down the years. Here's Tom Hickey. Just getting it out to Brian McAvoy. Towards John Power. Two players on. Brian Whelan, one of them, and Power there arguing that he's been held and uh, fouled, in fact. And the referee was uh, not too far from the action. Free to Kilkenny. Well, it's hard to believe that last year when Kilkenny really needed a leader of their attack that uh, John Farr wasn't on the side. But this year he's back and making an impression. Man who always makes an impression is DJ Carey. This one just inside the 65 metre line. It's wind assisted. And it is just gone left. So four wides now by Kilkenny. And about 16 minutes gone as you can see. Brian Cody then pacing up and down the uh, sideline there. Plenty of words of encouragement for his team. Stephen Burns puck out going towards the left half forward this time and Joe Dooley gets a stick to it. Tom Hickey, John Ryan trying to make some headway. One-handed inside but back there to help out is Dennis Byrne. Here's Cody Mulher. Brian McAvoy ar arriving there to uh, put in a challenge. Poor hand pass. Awfully get it away once again, and it's Brian Whelan. Remember the 1 6 in the All Ireland final last year? Well, he's come from wing back, and he's got his first here. A real favourite among the faithful county fans. And Brian Whelan has put once again just a point between the teams. Broken down here towards Kenny O'Shea. Hubert Rigney stepping away from trouble. Belting it across towards Billy Dooley. And again, Willie O'Connor is breathing down his neck, using his strength there. Still a great player. Up towards Henry Shetland. Henry, one of the young warriors, steps, takes too many steps. And that's going to be a free down for Offaly. Disappointment there for Henry Shefflin playing in just his second championship match. Scorer of uh, 10 points, incidentally, eight of them from freeze in just his first outing last month in the Leinster Championship. So Stephen Byrne spotting that there's an unmarked man in midfield. Johnny Pilkington. Hitting and going for glory, but uh, not rewarded with his effort. Just a little look at the uh, shape of the Kilkenny forward line right now. It's uh, Henry Shefflin right half forward. DJ Carey still at top of the left. Charlie Carter has gone, as I mentioned earlier, into full forward. Power continuing his battle there in the centre. Whipped down, but only as far as Andy Comerford. And a wonderful steal here by Joe Dooley aware that he had to release that ball quickly to Kevin Martin down towards John Ryan against Canis Brennan just the point in it the All-Ireland winners being led at this stage Eamon Kennedy blocked down by John Troy John Ryan there Canis Brennan likewise Troy diagonally across towards Billy Dooley and Willie O'Connor leaves it behind but has assistance there Paddy Mullally getting it out it comes to Brian McAvoy John Parr now a low ball across towards Ken O'Shea's corner Martin Hanami gets there first assisted by Kevin Martin some very good ground hurling some uh, very good understanding as well when Willie O'Connor ever moves out here his clubmate Paddy Mullally from Glenmore goes back into the corner to assist him it was a jersey pull there I think by Henry Shefflin on Kevin Martin Here's John Parr, stepping in beautifully, going around Keenahan. Opportunities, DJ Carey, a goal opportunity, and it's there! DJ Carey, who else? 
20 minutes gone. The first goal of the game. Kilkenny have looked the more likely to score goals in this match, and it's 1-4 to 3 points. Well, it was uh, created brilliantly, and John Power was influential, and the little hand pass into space, and before you knew it, DJ was in the clear. Mullally trying to get that ball away. This is Eamon Kennedy from Dunhamagan. DJ again trying to take it away from Simon Wheeler. This time it's stopped by Keenahan. Good ground hurling. That's something that Michael Bond has been encouraging. Brian McAvoy knocked away by Podiball Hare. Only as far as John Troy. Troy is bottled up and fouled. They're a combination of Andy Comerford and Dennis Byrne. Again, the referee in there to take numbers. I think it's probably Andy Comerford's number he recorded there. So, this free will be taken by Brian Wheeler. A point from play so far in this match. And this time he's hit it with uh, wonderful accuracy. Good long-range free by Brian Wheeler. And now that goal by DJ Carey separating the teams. James McGarry. Part of a long line of Kilkenny goalkeepers in the 90s. As far as Charlie Carter. A hand pass back to Dennis Byrne. And Byrne hit it really fast but not with sufficient accuracy. And now there are five wides by Kilkenny. Well, let's have another little look at the goal. The hand pass by John Parr, the man omitted last year, and the man for all seasons, DJ Carey, was on hand. There was plenty of options, plenty of support. O'Shea was there, but he didn't need to play O'Shea because DJ Carey stepped into the breach. Tom Hickey. Tolkington. Stopped by Johnny Dooley. Back it comes once again to Michael Dignan, and Dignan has put it over the bar. He's also significantly gone back in towards top of the left. His first point of the match. Well, it's as if Offaly have been stung by the concession of that goal. Trying to avail of every possible opportunity. Puck out taken quickly. Martin Hanami put under pressure here by Ken O'Shea. O'Shea. He was being dragged back, not once but twice, probably three times, and in the end the referee blew the whistle, and it's going to be a free in. Smile on the face of uh, Ken O'Shea. Finished the leash match with uh, three goals and a point to his credit. And in the past, of course, known to get very crucial goals for Kilkenny in championship matches. Henry Shefflin stepping up to take this free. put over the bar first opportunity that Henry has had and he has made it once again a difference of a goal between the sides so Stephen Byrne stepping up then to take this puck out With about 11 minutes to go to half time Dignan once again has come back into midfield spoke too soon John Power and that's going to be an awfully ball. So under the growing shadow of the Hogan stand here, it'll be Johnny Polkington who will take the cut. And the referee has spotted Eamon Kennedy down on his knees, holding his head. John Troy was close to him. John smiling but having a word with the referee nonetheless. Now we can have that sideline ball. Pilkington. Only straight there at Michael Cavanaugh. Towards John Power. Going for a one-handed shot this time, John Power. Henry Shefflin there, strongly built young man. Towards DJ Carey. Simon Wheeler had decided the best way to beat him is to get out to the ball first time. Mullally put under pressure. Johnny Dooley. Hand pass back to Brian Wheelahan. Players calling for it. That's towards Joe Dooley. Couldn't quite take it up onto a stick first time of asking. Against Kavanagh, against Byrne. Joe Dooley playing it inside here. 
Michael Dignan and Billy Dooley. Back it comes once again here towards John Ryan. Still possibilities. Billy Dooley playing it in there. Joe Dooley's around as well. But so too is Andy Comerford, the great-hearted midfield player. Kicked into the centre of the field towards Henry Shefflin. Shefflin seeing that there's a man free. That man is John Parr. Rigney was uh, slow to get to him. That's John Parr again doing that one-handed little bat forward. Charlie Carter. Change of direction by Charlie. And Ken O'Shea is inside there. He drops it down. Again, there was a possibility there just for a moment for Kilkenny. And Offaly are going to have to be a great deal tighter and not concede any more goals. Paddy Mullally. Tom Hickey. Not a particularly good pass because it didn't really give any chance to the other players to take possession but they have it this time with Henry Shefflin still trying to go forward what power, what strength, what determination here from Shefflin now can he finish with a point, he can, great score Henry Shefflin's second point with nine minutes to go to half time in general it's a good first half by Kilkenny but still a very tight match well that was all down to the individual strength and to no little skill of Henry Shefflin did a little twirl around but made his score Tom Hickey and with nobody really to mark because of the positioning of Michael Dignan but this is Dignan taking it from Kevin Martin driving it in beyond Billy Dooley James McGarry, sun in his eyes oh the hand pass there almost putting Canis Brennan in trouble in fact it does force him into some difficulty John Ryan getting it back but only back as far as Eamon Kennedy, the centre-half back for Kilkenny. Up towards John Power, one-handed down this time by Hubert Rigney. Here's Kevin Keenan. Out to Johnny Polkington. Hickey trying to get across to block. Down as far as John Troy. Here's John Troy, ever a danger man. And John Troy has put it over the bar. He's a lovely hurler. John Troy from Lusma. Well, what's just so difficult for the players in the heat this afternoon and it's 1-6 to 6 points and that the first score of the afternoon by John Troy McGarry with another huge one right in there, John Powers after it Brian Whelan trying to get it out they get it inside towards Charlie Carter here's Carter and there's a second goal Charlie Carter minutes after the first the porous Offaly defence creaking once again and it's 2-6 to 6 points Kilkenny looked to be the team who are going to get goals this afternoon, here's where they got a second it was a lovely ball in and there are footballers in Kilkenny as well and on this particular occasion Charlie with a stick in his hand upped it for the boot and guided it past Stephen Byrne and they could be in trouble again Offaly but this time the hand pass out by Martin Hanneman has discarded that red helmet. Well, this is putting it up really now to the All-Ireland champions. Again, it's Eamon Kennedy. Canis Brennan trying to race after this one with Billy Dooley. Canis who missed the league campaign because he was an army duty in the Lebanon. Andy Comerford, partly blocked. Kennedy getting a shoulder from Joe Dooley. Joe trying to feed it forward. They're all waiting for something to happen. This time it comes out here to Paddy Mulher, awfully needing a score here from somewhere, from somebody, and it comes from the midfielder. Paddy Mulher from St. Rhinas. The awfully flags flying proudly here, but uh, they've a lot of work to do, but still in the first half. Well, I think we've got news of a substitution. Let's go back down to Ryle Nugent. And Jer, it's just happening in front of you there. Joe Earty from Burr coming on for Offaly. Billy Dooley looks like the man who's going to make way. While I'm down here as well, just let me tell you that although things aren't going that well for Offaly, on the pitch, off the pitch, the wind seems to have dropped a little bit and they are going to have it in the second half. OK, so that's the news. Joe Earty comes in and indeed, as predicted, it's uh, Billy Dooley, who of course has been suffering from injuries of late and so even before half time with about five minutes to go the Offaly selection decide it's time for action they can't afford to let Kilkenny build up too great a lead 
the stick of DJ Carey would flying that time. John Power has been an influential figure on the 40 in this match. Just like in the uh, rather facile win that uh, Kilkenny had in the semi-final against Leash. Martin Hanami. One-handed there by Andy Cumberford. Whipped back this time by Martin Hanami. Paddy Bellali was following the flight path, but it's Tom Hickey who got it out only as far as John Troy. Instinct instinctively expecting, I think, Brian Wheeler to be coming up from wing back. Good ball inside there. That's a cross towards Michael Dignan in there challenging Tom Hickey, who was just having a wonderfully easy time as the ball was coming down his way with nobody to mark. Michael Cavanagh. And uh, Joe Errity has gone into full forward, incidentally. That's Johnny Dooley across there towards John Ryan. Ryan now playing the top of the right, challenging Willie O'Connor. And this time it's John Troy who steps in. Will he go for the point himself? Lobbing it in there towards Michael Dignan. And again, it's Tom Hickey taking it with assurance, but the pass is a little too hard. Johnny Dooley injured, fouled by Paddy Mullally. And a free into Offaly. This free about 35 metres out. And uh, Paddy Mullally, I think, has just been spoken to there by the referee, and so uh, his number has been recorded. Another foul of what we used to say in the old days, a personal nature, and uh, he would get a yellow card. So Johnny Dooley, two points of the match so far. Now he's got a third. Two of them coming from Freeze, and it's 2 6 to 8 points. So 12 points to 8. Wheeler had put under pressure there. Henry Shefflin attacking. That's Sir Brian Whelan. Where he was going to be hooked, I think, by Henry Shefflin. The shoulder coming in from Charlie Carter. Carter belting it ahead there, but uh, easy one for Stephen Byrne. Michael Dignan back there again. Again, he's gone back into midfield, trying to get the better of Andy Comerford, who will battle and battle, but that's beautifully taken up by Michael Dignan. Little tap to himself, then looking out for the midfielder, Johnny Pilkington. Johnny wanted just to put three points between the teams, but that time he's put it wide. Four wides now for Offaly. Well, those goals, and of course Michael Bond has been saying that whoever gets the goals in this match is likely to win. And on that basis, Kilkenny looking in pretty good condition heading towards the halftime break. But a long way to go yet, and a lot of hurling to play. Tom Hickey that time it was uh, John Troy whose momentum carried the ball forward only as far as Canis Brennan Johnny Polking I think expecting that ball to go out over the sideline left it there and in the end it did but just about Willie Barrett from Tipperary the linesman down here Martin Hanaby going back to uh, pick up Ken O'Shea Kilkenny have created you won't be surprised the greater number of scoring chances so far 17 against 13 for Offaly but those two crucial goals. Tom Hickey towards Ken O'Shea. Hanami was waiting to belt it forward. O'Shea, a crafty player. Hanami again hitting it. But it comes back to Charlie Carter looking for support. DJ Carey's coming forward, expecting the chance from Willen. That's good if he gets out towards Brian McAvoy. McAvoy entered the large rectangle, fell down, the referee says. Play on. They do it. Here comes DJ. Trying to get around Paddy Mulher. Whelan's there as well to try and deny him. Back it comes towards Henry Shefflin, and Shefflin in the end puts it over. Three points now for Henry Shefflin. And it's 2-7 to eight points. Well, a young player enjoying his first ever Leinster final. But this was Charlie Carter. And what about DJ's flick here? Aware that there were players coming in, Brian Wheelhead in particular, across towards Brian McAvoy. But in the end, they did get their score, a point from Shefflin. Brian McAvoy, DJ's in after it, and he's buried it! It's a third goal for Kilkenny! In the 35th minute, DJ Carey's second goal of the first half, 
and it's 3 7 to 8 points. It was ominous once that ball was raining in there in front of Stephen Byrne. Martin Hanami there as well, but look at the flick here. Beautifully done by DJ Carey. Hickey back again. Kevin Hickeenahan. Well, awfully were sluggish in last year's Leinster final as well. I've been mean, sluggish this afternoon. And here comes Kenny O'Shea, and that has gone left. It was a good opportunity because right now you just get the feeling that looking at the awfully backs that they look like the stuffing's been taken out of them by this latest one. And that was beautifully in there by DJ Carey on the edge of the small rectangle when he hit it in. But two goals by Carey, another by Charlie Carter. And at half time here, it is the Leinster champions who are leading the All Ireland champions. And as they go in here at the break, Offaly have it all to do. It's 3 7 to 8 points. Yeah, uh, there, there's, there doesn't seem to be any goal threat from Offaly in the first half. I think that they paid a price for bringing Michael Degnan out the field and the Kilkenny defender didn't follow him. He stayed back in his own position and they hit an awful lot of balls inside, inside where the likes of Tom Hickey and Willie O'Connor cleaned up uh, comprehensively in that first half. They brought him back in towards goal there in the, in the latter part of the second half and he made a difference. Mm -hmm. They're scoring well on points but they haven't threatened goals. I mean, from a points point of view, they've gone, so got some excellent scores but they haven't really threatened around the goal mount. You would also feel, Cyril, that Joe Dooley would be more dangerous a bit closer into the goal I would, I would expect that Joe Dooley wind up corner forward in the second half and like they'll probably play if they have John Ryan still on as well and Joe, they'll play them up the middle and they'll play John Troy and these on the wing even though they're down 8 points and it's double scores you still have to say that Offaly are playing quite well and it's a far higher standard than last year's Leinster final as such I know the day is very hot but they're not out of this game as such because there isn't big, any big question marks asked fully of, of the Kilkenny defence yet and them, them question marks will come and I'd say Kilkenny if they're going to go on would like the question marks to come because there's a few new fellas out there that's going to be tested let's go back to Ger. Thank you, Michael. Yes, uh, as predicted there, Billy D or jo uh, Joe Dooley has gone indeed to corner forward. But uh, another interesting one is that Brian Wheelahan has gone to left half forward and Michael Dignan has gone back. There he is now to right half back. So switches all around the place by Michael Bond and his uh, team of selectors. And De Comerford continuing his uh, successful sojourn in midfield. So there's the new wing back picked at top of the left, played most of the match midfield. And now he's got a marking job to do on Brian McAvoy. Good deep ball inside there towards Joe Dooley. John Ryan was around as well, but it's Canis Brennan who gets there first. Had support to Tom Hickey. And the foul there is by John Ryan, the hurler come footballer. And he is being called aside by the referee. His patience may have run a little bit thin. And it could be the first uh, yellow card of the match. So, John Ryan incurring the wrath of the referee, and yes, it is the first booking. John, who has yet to score in this game, and of course, it's uh, an awfully team that brought Joe Errity in five minutes before the halftime break as a replacement for Billy Dooley. So the big news really is the placing of Brian Wheeler, the team captain, at left half forward for the second half. Joe Errity is on the 40. Johnny Dooley continues at right half forward. And then it's uh, Troy, Ryan, and the other man, Joe Dooley, up in the full forward line for Offaly. What kind of changes will that uh, make in terms of their fortunes behind, as you see, by eight points at this stage? Sideline ball here to be taken by Paddy Mullally. Johnny Dooley getting there first. I'm sure that have had some tough words in the dressing room at half time. So let's see how they respond to that. And they're looking for something here. They get a 65. Willie O'Connor was placed into some difficulty. So Brian Whelan has switched to full forward in last year's All-Ireland and ended up with a goal and six points. And a player who could well have ended up getting two All-Stars at wing back and at full forward. It's going to be Johnny Dooley who will take this. He's got three points from the match so far. One from play and two from freeze. So this is where they need to start really taking a high percentage of their chances. But he's put in wide. First wide of the second half and five wides now in all. Crestfallen awfully fans that were dumbfounded I'm sure as well as to uh, what's gone wrong. 
Well, in seasons past, they've taken a fair while to uh, really get warmed up, as it were, in a season. And they've got better the longer their campaign has gone on. That's Andy Comerford. That's out towards DJ Carey. And DJ Carey has put that one just to the right. Well, interesting about DJ in the first half, he uh, got two points from 65s. He got... Uh, two scores from play of course they were the two goals and he missed two frees interesting but he made a huge contribution aided and abetted by John Power Eamon Kennedy getting it back downfield towards Ken O'Shea this time it's taken away by Simon Wheelerham Brian McAvoy here support outside through Ken O'Shea going right through the defence once more still McAvoy oh it's ended up on the back of the net Another Kilkenny goal. What a day. Four minutes into the second half. And virtually Kilkenny's second attack. And it produces a fourth goal. Brian McAvoy then adding to the goals from DJ Carey and Charlie Carter. And is there any possible way back now for the All-Ireland champions in this Guinness Leinster final? Will they be one of the four going into the draw pretty soon for the quarter-final placings? Body ball here trying to get it forward. It's uh, Brian McAvoy once again, straight this time at Michael Dignam. Up towards John Troy, trying to lay that ball off quickly towards John Ryan. It's just about kept in. Brian Wheeler, good resolution here by Wheeler trying to get his side going inside towards Joe Dooley they need a score here and Joe Dooley's shot saved has gone out over the end line off the stick of James McGarry it'll be a 65 well Joe Dooley gave it every possible ounce of strength that he had but he has injured his left leg it would appear Fortunately, throughout most of his career, he's managed to avoid any kind of serious injury. That's uh, Eamon Kennedy there, who was replaced by John Costello in the leash game. Still, the concern is about Joe Dooley. Well, he's been rolling back the years, really, in the last two seasons. Such an influential figure last year, when Offaly really, really needed his uh, guidance and his leadership. So Dr. Brendan Lee is uh, coming in here to attend as the uh, young ladies and gentlemen look forward to the remaining half an hour or so of this final. Joe looks to be in considerable trouble. One of the officials there, John Hunt, here at Croke Park. And uh, Joe is limping around I'm sure hoping to continue they've already used one of their substitution options and uh, that there is Martin White from Kilkenny one of the survivors of great Kilkenny teams back in the early 30s Brian Wheelahan takes the 65 and Brian Wheelahan has put it wide nothing really going quite right for Offaly Well, Dohi Regan has just been introduced here and uh, Joe Dooley, as anticipated, forced out of the match. So two of the Dooleys have left the game at this stage. So can Dohi Regan from Burr make a difference? He's gone in onto the 40 and uh, Joe Errity has gone up there towards the full forward spot. But uh, awfully need to deny Kilkenny all these chances because the ball is simply coming in on top of the awfully defence the whole time Simon Wheelerham a good kick ahead here towards Johnny Pilkington angling this one across here towards John Ryan Ryan trying to make some progress stopped Tom Hickey coming out with it well every time it seems that the awfully backs get the ball away it comes back into their faces once again here's Michael Dignan 
Hubert Rigney available to take the pass, but he was hooked. DJ Carey battling hard, and that's one of the significant uh, differences. The forwards of Kilkenny are there. They're trying to block down the awfully backs and make life very difficult for them. Kevin Martin here on this occasion has got a, a free clearance in. Again, it's tapped away by Tom Hickey. He's having a very good game. Dennis Byrne trying to get the ball up onto his stick. Challenged by Brian Wheelahan. And away comes the Kilkenny captain. DJ Carey now. Taking it by Kevin Martin. He really is flying in this match. Inside towards Henry Shefflin. Kevin Keenan trying to get the ball out. Martin Hanamy's there as well. And he gets it as far as Johnny Pilkington. Towards Dohi Regan. Stopped, however, by Eamon Kennedy. Played solidly at centre-half back for Kilkenny. Towards Andy Comerford. And away goes Comerford. Pursued by two awfully men. And taking plenty of time over this one. Brian McAvoy. Well, is there any way back for Offaly? Has that fourth goal by Brian McAvoy killed it off as a contest? Charlie Carter would like to think so. And he underlines that with another score. And that's a goal and a point now by Charlie Carter. Kilkenny looking really superior in front of an attendance of 38,310. And it's a four-goal difference. <coughs> Emma Kennedy. Dennis Byrne getting it one-handed down just beyond Paddy Mulher. Michael Cavanaugh. That's towards Ken O'Shea. Ken hasn't scored in the match so far. But still a threat. Good plucky play here by Ken O'Shea. But Kevin Martin robs him and gets it back. Drop hitting that one beautifully. There's lovely skills in this, lovely wrist work by so many players. That is Paddy Mullally. Oh, I'm sure he's thinking to himself, wouldn't it be nice to uh, play my first championship match in Croke Park and score, but uh, not on that occasion. But this was the goal here that came some four minutes into the second half, scored by Brian McAvoy, and a bullet by McAvoy away into the far corner. Well... Goals of varying types by Kilkenny this afternoon, but each and every one of them has even having quality written all over it. And that is a fine point by John Troy, his second. So 4-8 to 9 points. Well, they look very disappointed, that particular bunch of uh, Offaly fans. One of these teams will go straight through to the semi-final of the All-Ireland Series. One will figure in the quarter-finals. That's the loser, of course. But both teams want to take the Bob O'Keefe Cup. And here comes Willie O'Connor once again. To Kenny looking for a 56th Leinster title. Kevin Keenan denying them here. Towards Dohi Regan. And will his physical presence there make a difference against Simon Kennedy for the remaining minutes of this match? And quite a long way to go still. <laughs> Strongly built Fody Mulher, the two managers there side by side, Brian Cody and Michael Bond. Bonastori in Forna. Kevin Martin from Tullamore. Stopped there by John Power. And that was Henry Shefflin back there. Now Kevin Martin. One of those players who's enjoyed a great deal of success right throughout this particular decade. Dohi Regan. And the referee deciding in the end to throw the ball in. Dohi Regan, I think, complaining that his jersey was being pulled. So it's uh, Regan against Damon Kennedy. Tom Hickey just waiting behind in case it comes his way. Kennedy, powerfully built centre-back. Kevin Martin aware John Power was coming right behind him and probably would block. That's a decent ball in, Joe Eric is chasing after it. Uh, right on the end line, but it has gone wide. Umpire wasn't too far away from it. Joe Eriti player who can play just about anywhere, played in goal at underage level, played full-back of course and now up at full forward. John Ryan meanwhile 
and is still continuing to operate at top of the right. Andy Comerford trying to pull on that one-handed again. It goes back to Kevin Martin. Johnny Dooley has to go backwards in order to get a bit of latitude. And that's a fine shot by Johnny Dooley. Four points for Johnny. Well, Offaly will continue to battle because they're a county who just don't know when to accept defeat. And their fans now are trying to raise the decibel level and get right behind their team. It seems like a tall order, but you never know. Charlie Carter. And uh, Charlie's shot has dropped in high and it's dropped to the left. Henry Shefflin thought it was gone over the bar. I think Charlie thought so as well. From this angle here, it uh, could just as easily have gone in. Could just as easily have been a point. Again, they're remonstrating with the referee. The puck out goes towards Dohi Regan and Dohi this time gets a free in for Offaly referee explaining why to the Kilkenny players closest to him and well, you can see from Dottie Regan's uh, demeanour that he feels the cause is anything but lost Johnny Dooley this time going for a goal it seems because he left it quite low John Ryan in there Willie O'Connor getting it out, needing some assistance. That's Paddy Mullally. Taken here by Paddy Mulher. Well, they missed the free, uh, but they haven't missed the follow-up action. And Paddy Mulher has now struck two very fine points for Offaly. So it's 4-8 to 11 points. And Paddy Mulher has had three shots on target so far. He's taken two of them. Not bad for a very industrious midfielder. Charlie Carter blocks it down. John Power tries to come through. Simon Whelan, one-handed forward, but nobody there except Eamon Kennedy, stepping away from Dohi Regan. Again, it goes in towards Henry Shaplin. Well, the chance has been missed, but each and every time that ball goes in there, you just feel that the awfully full back line today in particular is uh, quite likely to concede scores Canis Brennan oh bad hand pass Johnny Dooley partly blocked comes back to him and Kennedy once again trying to scoop it out there towards Canis Brennan it's all very tight eventually it reaches Dennis Byrne into Henry Shefflin getting good ball, low ball, able to pick it up and turn and take it by Keenahan and score. A great performance by Henry Shefflin there, acknowledging that fabulous pass out of defence, which favoured the full forward. He's got four points, and he says more of those, I'm sure. Ball hopping around there. Andy Comerford the end of a, a blow there struck by Johnny Pilkington I think Johnny explaining that uh, nothing terribly malicious was involved but the referee has still decided to have a word and it could be a yellow card for Johnny Pilkington as well John Ryan has already been booked so it's a second yellow again the Medical people are called into action. This time it's Dr. Bill Cudahy. And Andy Comerford feeling the, the pain of that. So one number eight gets up on his feet once again, while the other number eight of Offaly has uh, been given a yellow card. Well, the free will be taken by the centre-back, Eamon Kennedy. From his own 65 metre line, dropping it in towards Henry Shefflin. Charlie Carter's around as well, and the referee says play on, and hopefully try to get it out to Simon Wilhelm, out towards Michael Dignan. John Power in there to battle, never giving up. Well, in the end, the referee will probably have to throw the...